Okay, one of the great things about my job is I get to take Natalie to the movies, right? I thought you were going to say you get to interview amazing celebrities no, every I day, because that's movies. pretty cool, so too. So this next movie, I actually went and saw it twice. It's that good. So we're going to talk about it twice, because last week we talked to Jennifer Hudson about playing Aretha, Aretha Franklin. Franklin. I mean, yeah. the role of a lifetime? Aretha told her eight years ago, she said, you're going to play me, and I want you to win the Academy Award, and I think she's going to get nominated for sure, and I think she should win it. So one of the things about this movie that makes it fantastic is you see her life, and you, you see her dad, who was a prominent minister, and he wasn't always a nice guy, and then she met this man that she fell in love with. He wasn't such a nice guy either, so that was some of the uphill battles she had. And Marlon Wayans plays this first love of her life. Okay. And this is a guy, you saw him in White Chicks, you saw oh, him do... He's always the funny yeah, guy. Scary movie. Yes. He's a goofy, crazy guy, but you'll see a different Marlon Wayans. Check him out in respect. This song goes out to anyone who's ever felt mistreated. Mistreated is a word Aretha Franklin learned early in life. In the award-bound respect, starring Jennifer Hudson, Marlon Wayans plays a lover gone bad. Yeah, it is crazy good. You know, you, I know, I know you've done a lot of comedy, sitcoms, you've done some other roles. Well, how would you describe this experience? Completely different than anything I've ever done. Um, I, I think not just because it was a drama, but because I was played in lead, playing leading, romantic leading man and villain at the same time. So it had to be a, a, a complicated kind of uh, approach to the role, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Had so to make them love me and then hate me. And that's <laughs> exactly. I need you to focus and avoid frivolous distractions. Honey, find the songs that move you. Until you do that, you ain't going nowhere. Do you have to like this guy to play him or figure out how to like him? You have to figure out how to like him um, because he already hates himself. So you have to find out the why. So you got to love that character, embrace that character, create that character. And you realize that damage people damage people. And at the end of the day, he's just a little boy hurting. So there's something insecure about him. You want him to do the right thing. And sometimes he just has a hard time doing it. Yeah. Yeah. He's in his own way. And that's the sad part is you want him, you want him to win. You want him and Aretha to win. And then when he starts, you know, messing it up, it's like, no, no, no. But that's so many relationships. To present Aretha Franklin Day. You're not about to mess this up for me. How about watching Jennifer Hudson? What was going through your mind when you're watching her perform? Nothing, man. When she was performing, I was so busy just yeah. She was amazing. Every take, she just got better and better and better and better. And it felt like you was in church or you yeah. were like, it was it, every, and literally we, we would jump out our seat out of some of her performances <laughs> because she was just so damn good. She's amazing. Yeah, she was, she was great. The movie's so good. You got to watch the final credits. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a great tribute. And I, I, I hope the queen is happy. Yeah, me too. Hey, thank you for your time today, man. It's great to see you. Thank you. Good seeing you, brother. She's a miracle. You know, you get a chance to talk to some of these guys who, you know, for comedy. You, know, you, talk, you sit down yeah. with them and you expect them to be a comic or be funny for you, which is a lot of pressure on them. It is a lot of pressure. They don't always feel like they want to do that. You always have to, yeah, you, you, you want to see them. You, you know who they are in these yeah. characters. Like, well, that's exactly how they're probably in real life. And not everyone's like that. Yeah. He's a very calm, yeah. cool demeanor. A lot of, and great switch in yeah. character. A lot of brothers in that family, you know, those guys always had to compete, they say, with each other at the dinner table. Oh, I and bet. They, and then, you know, you ask them, well, comedy, drama, which is harder, they say comedy is way harder. And I really believe it when I see his performance. His performance is so good that when he comes on screen after you get a taste of who he is, you don't like him, you know? Yeah. And you go, oh, no, don't, oh. And, and, you know, he just plays it to a T. And it's, you know, around Forrest Whitaker, you know, who's a real serious Academy Award winning actor also. So uh, he was up against it, and man, he performed. I say, go see Respect, folks. You're going to love it. He already saw it twice. Yeah. I mean, he's got to see it third. I got to see this. And this, we talked every about time it we, twice. Oh, every time you bring this up, I, I get chills thinking about this movie. I can't wait. You know, it's going to be good. Really, I'm not kidding you. It gives you, her voice, it gives you chills. It's, it's unbelievable. Amazing.